Hey, it's Coach Green, your basketball scoring coach. In this video, I wanna give you four ways that you can enhance your pull-up jumper. Let's learn from Kyrie Irving. Let's begin with the behind-the-back pull-up. This is by far one of Kyrie's favorite go-tos when it comes to his pull-up jumper. He does a great job of staying on balance. Let's watch and break down the first clip. So let's take this back a little bit. So right here, he's in a transition, right? We got defender here, defender there, right? But he's gonna focus more on this defender that's on his hip, okay? Now, as he's attacking, the thing he does great, he stays low to the ground, okay? The second thing that, that he does very well, he's gonna replace his feet. So as he's going behind the back here, he's gonna replace his feet. You're gonna notice how his feet come off the ground and he's gonna replace them. That reestablished his balance. So whenever you perform, performing a behind the back uh, move or just a regular pull up, just make sure you stay on balance, replace your feet. As you see here in this clip, what makes Kyrie Irving's pull up jumper dynamic is that he can do it going to the right, he can do it going to the left. The thing that I like as well is how he changes his pace. So in a pull up, you got to think about this, right? As you're attacking, right right now, he just made a crossover move, now he's attacking. You have to make the defender perceive that you're going to the rim. Now, how he does this, he's going to speed up his last two steps. So that means he's going to shorten his stride. We'll watch it full speed, and then we'll slow it down. One, two, up. All right, now let's rewind this back, okay? So he's into a cross, that's the cross, okay? Now he's attacking, now he has this defender's feet shifted. Now, let's see what happens next. So right here, defender is still on him, right? But he's gonna shorten up his stride. Now he's gonna pound it, short stride, one, two. Defender's anticipating that he's going to the paint. He's behind the back, replace his feet on balance. Easy money. So with this move, two things we got to focus on. Number one, staying low. Number two, finish on balance. And the third one that I want to add is change up your pace. The last two steps should be aggressive and quick to make the defender assume that you're going to the paint, that you're trying to get to the rim. Now in this move right here, Kyrie loves to do the step back as well. So he has variations to his pull up jumper when he goes behind the back. So in this clip here, what stands out to me is his awareness. Like how quickly can you download information, right? He started off with a wing defender guarding him, right? But he's going to get, it's going to be a switch. So as he's coming to the stop here, again, getting this defender to turn his hips, He's gonna go behind the back. But here's the deal, he realizes that this is a big. So big means he got long reach. So now we gotta create more separation. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna hit him with the step back. The footwork is immaculate. As he steps back, he's on balance. So as we go back just a little bit, behind the back, watch the feet. This left foot goes back first. Right, he replaces his feet, left foot goes back, and then he pushes off with that right foot, and then he has a separation, right? This is, again, this is a seven footer. Kyrie maybe 6'3", right? He gotta get separation to get this shot off. So in this move here, the key is stay in balance, but awareness, right? Know, know who's guarding you at that point of time or point of attack, right? And get separation, and stay on balance. You have to stay on balance to make this move effective. Okay, now in this next clip, we're gonna discuss the heavy step, right? The heavy step gives you options because it's gonna hold the defender, right? We gotta make sure we keep the defender off balance. And Kyrie, he uses the heavy step to his advantage because he's already quick, right? Most defenders are gonna think that he's gonna be explosive every time he makes a move. But this slight little heavy step right here, right? He's getting into this heavy step. He's gonna load up, pause, right? 
Now, what do you think is happening in this defender's mind? He don't know if he's just going to short step it and get right into a pull up or he's going to raise up into a shot. He doesn't know. So he has to stay honest. So this slight delay gives Kyrie enough time to get the advantage and get the space. Now with the pull up, right? Because before I was showing you the behind the back. Now we're getting into what we call an inside outside pull up, right? As far as the footwork. So basketball is in his left. He's going to go right left into that pull up. Now balance. Again, I cannot reiterate this enough. You have to stay on balance when you're shooting a pull up. Your footwork have, have to be on point as well. If you're going left, most are going to be right left on the finish with the pull up. If you're going right, it's typically going to be left right. So take your time, go slow, and then build it up to the point where you're going game speed. Now in this clip, remember what I said in one of the previous clips where I said his awareness is what really separates him, right? He's he understands when situations happen, he knows how to download the information and take advantage. So in this clip here, as we rewind back, he's in a ball screen. Now he understand now he's attacking the big, which is in a drop position, right? He's playing off, he's giving up the pull up. But I want you to pay attention to all this real estate here. See, these shooters are holding the help side defenders. But watch how as he's attacking, he could have got into a one-two, but he realizes here, again, you're dealing with a seven-footer who has a long wingspan, who can cover space, more space, quicker than a guard, right, most of the time. So what he's gonna do here, he's gonna come to that, get to that left, instead of getting into a pull-up, he's gonna locate space right here. As he locates space, right, left, because again, going left is typically right, left. He's gonna get into that right, left, money. So again, let's watch it full speed. Coming off the ball screen, here's he, get to that space. Again, he gathers, and then what he's gonna do, reach out. Now, this is important because if this defender wants to reach, well, guess what? Now, at this point, he done picked up his dribble, and in the NBA, it's continuation. So if he gets fouled right here, he's still into a shot. He gets the separation that he needs, and now that's an easy money shot. So if we go back and we think about all the clips that I showed you, there's four variations to the pull-up. And again, this all doesn't have to be done overnight. You wanna add layers, master the footwork of each clip, and then build on that. And as you get comfortable, you speed it up. But the men range game is back. Um, you gotta get in the gym and practice the footwork, practice the pace, and make sure you understand the footwork if I'm, when I'm going left versus when I'm going right. And make sure the last two steps are always quick when you get into that pull up to keep the defender honest. I'm Coach Green, your basketball scoring coach. Thank you again for tapping into this video. Click that like button, click that subscribe button, comment below. Let me know your thoughts.